Yesterday, Unit 4 of Gujarat's Kakrapar Atomic Power Station achieved first criticality, which is a huge step towards generating power at the station. The Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited, NPCIL, announced the milestone achieved by India's largest indigenous nuclear power plant. I am Akanksha and I will explain what is first criticality and what does this mean for nuclear power generation in India. Kakrapar Power Plant has two units, 3 and 4 which are India's first 700 megawatt home-built nuclear reactors. Unit 3 began operations in August 2023 and it currently is running at full capacity. Unit 4 is under construction and has completed first criticality. First criticality is the start of a controlled fission chain reaction. In nuclear power plants, energy is generated when a neutron, which is a non-electric particle, collides with an atom of a material like uranium-235, causing the atom to split. The splitting is called nuclear fission and it generates a huge amount of heat. This heat is harnessed to make steam, which spins a turbine, which then makes electricity. Now, for this heat to be used to create enough electricity to run a nuclear power plant, the fission reaction needs to be controlled and it needs to be self-sustaining. That is, one fission reaction leads to another in a chain-like process. This is called first criticality. The criticality test was approved by India's Nuclear Regulator Atomic Energy Regulatory Board, AERB, on 15th December. After this, other experiments will be conducted and the power level will slowly increase in the power plant. India currently has 23 nuclear power reactors running in the country with a total capacity of 7,480 megawatt, and the NPCIL is building nine more reactors, including Kakrapar Unit 4. The importance of Kakrapar Unit 4 is that, similar to Unit 3, it is India's biggest homegrown nuclear reactor. A capacity of 700 megawatt is huge, and Kakrapar reactors also boast to be among the safest reactors in the world, according to the NPCIL. Their inner containment systems are lined with steel to prevent the release of radioactive material in the case of an accident. They also have passive decay heat removal systems, which safely removes the passive heat that is generated during and after nuclear fission, sometimes even when the reactor is shut down. These measures have been employed in new generation nuclear reactors, especially after the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster of 2011 in Japan. Nuclear energy releases no greenhouse gases and it is an important renewable energy source. India plans to generate 50% of its total electricity from non-fossil fuel sources by 2030, which makes nuclear energy all the more important. Despite this push for nuclear energy growth in India, the current contribution of nuclear energy to the total energy generation in the country still needs to grow. In 2022-2023, Nuclear energy formed only around 2.8% of India's total energy production. In a Lok Sabha reply, Union Minister of State for Science and Technology, Jitendra Singh, gave details of the current 23 nuclear reactors in the country, out of which four are under project mode, one is shut down for assessment, and another one is operating at 90% capacity. However, in less than a decade, India aims to triple its nuclear energy production from the current 7,480 megawatts to 22,480 megawatt. Thank you for watching. Keep watching the print for more such videos.